it cost about 0.0005 BTC to withdraw BTC from Binance, which is equivalent to $23 or thereabouts. And it cost about 0.00672 Ethereum to send Ethereum out of Binance, which is equivalent to um, $9 or thereabouts. My name is Emmanuel Jacob. So on this video, I want to quickly show you how you can withdraw the following crypto assets from your Binance account to another Binance user without paying a dime as a, a withdrawal fee. All right. So the following crypto assets and fiat you can withdraw from your Binance account for free is USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, Ethereum, DAI, BIDR, EOS, RUB, which is Russian ruble, that is uh, actually fiat, Nigerian naira, which is fiat, and Ukraine Avnia, which is also fiat. So these uh, crypto assets and fiat are the assets you can possibly withdraw from your Binance account for absolutely free of charge. All right. Once again, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I want you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And make sure you give me thumbs up because I trust you are going to get value. Believe me, you are going to get value. And make sure you turn on the post notification bell. Click on the bell icon so that you'll be the very first person to be notified when next I drop my subsequent videos. Alright, so the most important thing is that you share this video to as many as possible. Believe me, a whole lot of people want to spend less. A lot of people want to send and receive crypto assets for absolutely free. And they are going to appreciate you if you share such a great deal of video like this with them. All right, let's roll. So first of all, you have to launch your Binance application. Then you click on wallets being the fifth and the last icon at the bottom of your screen. Then you um, automatically you are going to land on overview. We have different wallets here. We have spot margin features. We have P2P, we have in and we have pool. So we are going to click on spots. So spot wallet is actually the default wallet where all your crypto assets will land if you are receiving from someone else or except maybe you um, are receiving, you are actually receiving from uh, um, P2P or maybe you are trading, you are actually buying from P2P. All right. So we are going to, since we are transferring, we are going to click on transfer because we want to move from spot to P2P. You can only send without a single charge if you are sending via P2P. All right. So I'm going to click on transfer. Then I'm going to transfer from spot to P2P. So what I want to transfer is BTC. I'm going to click on BTC. Okay. Okay. Before we get there, this is actually the um, crypto asset and fiat we can send. Um, without a single charge all right so i'm going to choose um, btc and i'm going to click on max this is 0 0.02000 btc which is um 900 and something dollars all right so i'm going to click on confirm transfer so this is going to pop up since i'm not looking to trade it since i'm not looking to maybe sell on p2p platform since i want to transfer to another user without the need of maybe using the p2p platform i'm going to ignore this by clicking on cancel all right so i'll click on cancel so yeah the funds have been moved to p2p so i'm going to choose p2p now then under this you are going to see that i've been able to transfer 936 dollars worth of btc to my p2p wallet I'm going to click on transfer then we, when i click on transfer the next thing to do is to click on send being the first option so i'll click on send so clicking on send as you can see this is my recent transactions where um, i've been sending and receiving i've been sending and receiving crypto assets via p2p without a single um, transaction fee all right so since I have the device here with me, I'm going to use the first option being scan. With the help of scan, I'll be able to scan the QR code from my alternative device that I'm going to scan my another Binance account. Then automatically it's going to bring up my, um, 
the email address i used in creating the binance account so i'll be able to send out the crypto assets or the fiat i'm looking to send to another user all right so we have other options like email we have other options this email is you getting the email from your recipient or you get the phone number the person used in registering binance to send um, any crypto assets or any of the available crypto assets you can send on p2p and is it two other fiat or thereabouts so you can choose country depending on the country or region the person is all right so we have uh, a whole lot of countries here so if the person is in nigeria then you have to choose nigeria then you put you are going to ignore the first um the first number then you start because if you put sorry yeah if you put the first number it's going to tell you that there is no such user so if you don't include the first number being zero as a nigerian for example then you start with maybe eight or something then you'll be able to send the crypto assets to another user all right so in this case we want to use scan so where i'm going to scan the um the qr code of the recipients all right so i'm going to scan the qr code of the recipients i'm actually launching binance application now on my alternative phone all right so i'll click on scan then on my alternative device i'm going to click on transfer once I click on transfer, this will come up. Then I'll click on send. All right. And when I click on send, since I am scanning, I'm going to click on this um, middle option being receive. Once I click on receive, this will come up. The QR code will come up. Then I've been able to scan. Then scanning it, it has um, bring up my email address, like the email address I'm sending the crypto assets to. So now I'm going to select BTC as being the crypto asset i'm looking to transfer all right then i'm going to click on max since i want to send everything so you can send as many btc as possible if your account is actually eligible to send out two btc to or 50 btc whatsoever amount of btc you are looking to transfer this is quite possible and you are going to send it free of charge without any fee all right so I'll click on confirm. Once I click on confirm, then I'll click on send code. Binance is going to send me a one-time code, which is known as OTP. Then I'll paste it. I'll click on submit. Then boom, I've been able to send the BTC to my um, alternative Binance account. So I'm going to log in now to we'll check that. I'm going to log in now to show you how, guys how fast this can be this is quite fascinating seriously all right so let me show you let me show you um this is it this is it the bcc is here all right i've been able to receive i, I don't think it's up to five seconds since i sent it and it just reflects automatically this is quite amazing binance are doing a great job like you can move um, millions within a blink and it will get to your recipients in less than no time with no fees this is quite amazing seriously this is mind-blowing all right congratulations so finally you've made it to the end of the video and i really do appreciate your consistency but before you go I want you to cross check if you did not subscribe make sure you do that right now and don't fail to give me a thumbs up and uh, most importantly click on the bell icon to turn on post notification so that when next I drop a content here on YouTube you'll be the very first person to be notified make sure you share this video to family and friends so that they can as well learn what you've learned so far Alright, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.